it is an independent family owned distillery, but the scale of it is kind of in between a really small scale startup um, and the really established kind of um, veteran whiskey distilleries. So we, we have this amazing kit right from the get go. We're able to do phenomenal um, quality and consistency checks um, and, and follow very strict recipes from the very beginning. So I think our quality really from, from day one is going to be um, kind of a quality that we, we set forever. Beyond that, we are an organic estate. Um, everything that we, we use in our products is um, organic certified. Even the water, you can't certify water as organic, but it is coming from an organic estate. Um, so we know that that's quite clean. Yeah, it's a lot about the, the passion behind it. The family's really invested in it. Um, myself and Megan, we're, we're obviously here working every day to make the best quality spirits and uh, yeah, proud of it, so. So here at Glenrinus, the distillery was bespoke, custom built for this, this site, for this setup. We have five kind of holding tanks, a thousand liter pot still, a botanical basket that we use for our gin, um, two column stills, a condenser, a spirit safe, and then uh, a heads and tails receiver and a hearts receiver. Um, we then also have on-site bottling. Um, so we have a four head manual filler and then an automatic um, labeler, which is pretty fun. Um, the kit is really set up to be super flexible. Um, so we're able to completely isolate um, different parts of the system. So for our gin, for instance, we use the pot still, the botanical basket, and the first column. Um, for our vodka, we use the pot still. We bypass the botanical basket, and then um, we use both columns. So um, it's a pretty flexible system. Um, we're hoping um, that in the future, if we decide to do any other spirits, it's completely set up to kind of handle, handle anything we want to throw at it. Every day is kind of, kind of a, different, a different path because it is just two of us doing everything. So um, every day we'll start off um, one of us doing all the checks around the distillery, making sure everything's in working order, wake, making sure that everything's kind of in, in its place, so we have a blank slate um, that we know we're good to work from. Um, depending on what activity we're doing, we'll either go uh, prep botanicals for a distillation or maybe move some liquid around. Um, if we're doing bottling, we'll make sure um, that everything on the bottling line is good to go. We'll do some extra alcohol readings, make sure that everything is um, exactly as we want it before it goes into the bottle. Um, if we're doing maybe more office work one day, we'll, we'll be uh, making sure all of our paperwork's in order, making sure um, we've done fulfillment orders from our website or from Master of Malt, um, and uh, yeah. Our gin process, um, we start with uh, grain neutral spirit, which is 100% wheat, organic certified, uh, it's 96%. We dilute that down to um, somewhere between 40 and 50% and allow our botanicals to macerate in that. Um, our recipe uses 11 botanicals, um, obviously juniper, coriander, um, kind of your, your base gin botanicals, um, but we do use two uh, forage botanicals from the estate, so wood sorrel and cowberry, and uh, these are foraged during the season. We bring them into house and we batch freeze them at, at their ripest, best kind of quality. Um, we also use fresh citrus, so lemon peel and lime peel, Again, we bring it in during citrus season, we hand peel it and freeze it. So, so it's maintaining all that freshness um, from those botanicals. Um, we use cardamom, coriander, cashew bark, orris root, and a handful of others. Um, the ca uh, chamomile and the wood sorrel, as well as some extra juniper are tossed into our botanical basket. So those are only exposed to the vapor, um, which is just a different method for extraction. Um, and then the, all, the botanicals are all chucked into the still and allowed to macerate um, yeah, for 24 hours, kind of overnight. Um, we then turn the steam on to allow the distillation process to start. 
We used the first column in our, in our setup and eight plates on the first column. So we also use kind of a blend of three different recipes into our final uh, gin. So we use a single shot and a multi-shot recipe just to focus on consistency so that we are able to um, kind of handle any sort of fluctuations in a botanical um, or uh, just kind of fluctuations in our, in our production. By taking the, the multi-shot and mixing it with a single shot, we're able to balance, balance back and forth. Um, and that just helps with consistency of our final product in the end, um, making sure from batch to batch to batch, we're, we're always gonna taste the same and we're always gonna have that level of quality um, in our gin.